Now, first with kids. With advice for parents who have a child who is the target of a cyber bully, how do you keep your kids connected to their friends without unplugging? Dr. First has tips for parents. Parents have been uploading lots of questions to me about cyberbullying and whether their child might be victimized or even an aggressor. Well, let me log on and provide some information on this particular topic. Cyberbullying is the use of technology to threaten, harass, embarrass, or target another individual, and it's increasing in prevalence. In fact, studies suggest that one in six middle schoolers and one in three high school students self-report they are victims of a cyberbully. So parents, what can you do? Well, you can watch for signs of cyberbullying. For example, does your child demonstrate emotional distress when they're online or shortly after coming off being online? Do they not want to use their cell phone or use the computer as much as they used to? Do they have a change in appetite, sleeping behavior, or school performance, or not want to participate in after-school activities and sports when they used to want to do this but won't tell you why? Well, that's fairly common. Kids don't want to talk to their parents about cyberbullying because they're afraid that parents are going to cut them off from technology. So what you need to do is sit down with your child or teenager if you think they're being victimized by a cyberbully. Share your concerns. Tell them you're not going to remove them from technology. But the issue is really with the cyberbully, and you're going to help your child block that bully from social media networks or from their cell phone network. And that can do the trick. It's also a good idea to print out copies of the threats from the cyberbully that you may end up having to show to the parents of the aggressor, to perhaps school teachers or guidance counselors, and in rare circumstances, maybe even to law enforcement. What if your child is the aggressor or the cyberbully? Well, if that's the case, sit down with your child or teenager and make sure they understand how hurtful this behavior is and can be. Then take consequences, such as limiting exposure to being online for that teenager or child only when a responsible adult is present, perhaps only for schoolwork. In addition, talk about the behavior with your child's health care professional to see if some form of counseling is warranted. Schools are also taking action by removing cyber bullies from after school activities and sports, and that oftentimes curbs this behavior right away. So that hopefully, tips like this will give the data input you need to you so you know what to do if you're concerned about cyberbullying. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis first reminding you to always be first with your kids.